Hello, welcome back to our TCAP commentary. Um, today we're doing Lee Greer now. Um, I've done this guy before, right? <laughs> it's Lee Greer, right? Everyone knows who Lee Greer is, right? The no pickle predator, right? Um, I've been thinking about this guy <laughs> recently, and I don't know why. I really don't. Maybe it's because I ate McDonald's recently. <laughs> I've been thinking about Lee Greer. But anyway, um, yeah, we're doing him again. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you like to catch a predator, check out the channel. I have, uh... All these videos that are like this, right? But anyway, um, let's get right to this. Everybody. Let's just see if it's Lee Greer. Lee Greer. Lee Greer. Lee Greer. Yes. 74 are 1 o'clock. Now, here comes another married man. He's 31-year-old <laughs> Lee Greer. Screen name, Lee Greer 74. And just a little heads up, right? Um, This video is inverted, right? As you can see, right? This isn't a language, right? Right? This is inverted, right? It's Lee Greer, right? Um... The original video that I used to to watch this right was from Charles Lee Love, and if you you're, if you if you're not aware, Charles Lee Love is gone, right? He he died. No, he didn't die, but I believe he got his channel took down, right? So I don't know where he's at. If he's come back, if he has another YouTube channel and a different name, I don't know, right? But yeah, he's gone. So, um, and I have a theory of why. You know what? Uh, Y'all don't want to know. He's 31 year old Lee Greer, screen name Lee Greer, Lee Greer 74. 74. He's away from home on business and he's been chatting online with a 13 year old. 13. At least that's what the decoy told him. He sends her a picture of his penis and then types, You will get to see the real thing, you know, in person. Man, that is so incriminating, man. Imagine that. Like, the police are like reading out his his chat logs to the, the you know, you know the, the, the judge, right? And he and, and Lee Greer says, you know, oh, I'm innocent, man. I'm innocent. You can't do this to me. You can't do this, right? And then the police reads out that he legit said, right, he, she would be able to see his penis in person. And that is after he showed up to the house, right, got arrested, whatever, right? But, um, yeah. And if you do not know, right, the decoy broke a little bit of character when uh, she was chatting with him, right, or whoever it was, but... Apparently his member was multicolored, right? And the decoy was very, um, uh, I guess, confused or very distracted by the fact that it was two toned, right? And uh, yeah, penis, I'm just, and then types. What am I you saying? You will get to see the real thing, you know, in, in person. person. He's on the back door, hips torch, opening the door. Wow. He's supposed to be bringing lunch and booze. Hey, Often, oh perverted Emily, justice man. decoys will ask a man to bring something specific, like food or alcohol. alcohol. Ask if you brought the lunch and booze. Did you bring the food? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, man. I haven't ate. <laughs> I haven't ate, and I wish, I wish I had this McDonald's, right? This cheeseburger with no pickles, man. If I had pickles, you, you, honestly, you could probably throw it away, right? I don't want it. But since it has no pickles, you know, give it over here, man. L let me have it, right? Let me have it. But, um, I'm, I am very annoying. Anyway, um, on to what's happening right now, right? K, I almost said Casey. <coughs> Emily, right? The decoy, Emily. Um, she screams out, right? Did you bring the food, right? And, uh, I wonder what is going to be said next, right? It's probably describing what is in the, you know, the bag of McDonald's, right? Did you bring the Mickey food? D's, you know? Yeah. Okay, great. Law enforcement says it helps show intent, intent. because a potential predator is. is bringing items that he talked about online oh my God. in the same conversation he's he's down, talking about sex. What did you bring? I'm being, yo, whoever kept asking for food, bro, they were just hungry, bro. Fucking Chris Hansen. It shows intent. No, it don't, bro. Whoever told the decoys, I mean, the predators to bring food, they were just fucking hungry, bro. I need to stop cursing. <laughs> they were just really hungry. Like, it was probably Frag, right? The, the main guy uh, that was asking for all this food, right? Like, oh, man, you know, I'm kind of craving McDonald's, right? No pickles, though. <laughs> but, yeah, let's bring it back. The same, the same conversation the same, the same. that he talked about online in the same conversation he's talking about Look sex. at that. What did you bring? Two drinks, dude. Like, legit. I mean, Lee Greer forgot the drinks, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh... That's a whole meal, yo. Whoever was behind the scenes asking for all this food, yo, they need to, they need to have a lunch break or something, cause yo, they, they don't feed these people. I sort of got double cheeseburgers with no pickles, no pickles. Awesome. I made chocolate chip cookies too. God, Emily is so pretty, dude. I'm sorry, you know. There are there have been people who like legit get on my case for thinking the decoys are pretty or whatever, right? I understand they're playing the role of a minor, but they're not, right? 
And uh, I know that sounds a bit strange, but like, yo, come on, like Emily is pretty. Like that's just the fact, right? Like I'm not gonna take that away from her. You get me? Like, no pickles. Awesome. I made chocolate chip cookies too, but I actually just got them on my shirt, so I'm just gonna change my shirt real quick. All right, I got some fries, but the fries might be cold. Might be cold. Take me a little while to find this place. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. Okay. <laughs> God. The fries might be cold, man. You know what I think about small fries, right? I mean, uh, <clears throat> cold fries, right? <laughs> Everyone knows, and if you don't know, you've been out of the loop, okay? You're not a good, you're not a good viewer, okay? You don't know what I think about cold fries, okay? No, I'm kidding. But I, I have, I've never mentioned, or maybe I have. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Cold fries. Um, man, that is some some pain, okay? That is, if you have your fries cold, yo, just throw them away, man. It seems like I'm throwing the entire meal away, but I only want the burger with no pickles, you know? That's all I want, you know? I keep the keep the cold fries. I don't want them. But, uh, anyway. Awesome. I made awesome. chocolate chip cookies, too, but I actually just got them on my shirt, so I'm just going to change my shirt real quick. All right, I got some fries, but the fries might be cold. It took me a little while to find this place. Dumbass. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. Dumbass. I, I took me a while to find this place, man. Oh, you're so slow, Lee Greer, right? You're so dumb, right? But okay. Uh, anyway, so no uh, cookies for you. <laughs> I forget, yo. I really forget that that's his intro to Lee Greer, dude. You know, other than this being a legendary segment, right? This is a legendary intro from Chris Hansen, right? Um, <clears throat> no cookies for you, right? Like, oh man. And then Lee Greer, you just look at his face, and yo, he is, he is, you know, shitting it, man. You can just take a seat. I'll be right there. Okay. No, cookies, so no for uh, cookies for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man. The other video that I watched for for the one I already did, right? This is a, a remaster, right? Um, yo, I, I don't know which one is clear, right? This one seems more like colored. You know, the other one was kind of gray, but you know what? Whatever. I was gonna make a, a little weenie joke of Lee Greer, right? But anyway, um, they, like in the first video, you could see how like. You know, how his face was uh, showing his emotion, like, 100%, yo. It was, like, looking directly into his soul, right, of what he was thinking. And, oh, man, you can still see it now. I mean, he, he is completely, you know, uh, so no, scared. Uh, cookies for you? He's like, damn. What's going on? Not much. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Um, Lee. Um, Lee, man. I said it. I said it the first time. I'm going to say it a second time, yo. That is the best intro I've ever heard, man. Like, you know, every time Chris Anson asks these guys, right? Like, oh, what is your name, right? I, there would never be another person that has done it like Lee Greer has. You know, I'm um, Lee, man. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> Lee Greer, right? Lee. You know, it doesn't click on my mind that his name, his first name would be Lee. But I actually don't think his name is actually Lee. I think it's something else. Like, that's his middle name. If I'm not mistook, right, I actually looked at his, uh, his chat logs in the very first video I made, so, he was named after some, someone, I almost said something else, but it's someone else, right, he had a different name, but I believe his name is, like, blank, and then Lee Greer, right, so his, his, his first name is not Lee, I don't believe. What are you doing here? Uh, come to visit a friend off the net. I off thought. the net. At first he tells me the yes. friend he came to see was 18 or older, and but then changes his... <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. 18 or older, man. So, so non, like, you know, guilty, right? It's like, oh, God, man. Every time they say that, man. Like, I, I give it to, um, whatever, what, the, what was his name? Um, Jerry Griffith, right? The apple pie prayer that, that's like, oh, you know, her name was... Amanda, right, and she was 22 or 24 or whatever, right? He doesn't land the age directly on, like, 18, right? Because most of the predators do, right? But they're nervous. They're not thinking straight, right? Um, they're just thinking, like, oh, what is the most, uh, what do you call it? Like, lawful thing I could say right now, right? And it is 18 or older, right? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Story. So why don't you start over again and tell me how old did she say she was in the conversation? Man, he's just looking straight at his face. I keep pausing it. I'm sorry. Conversation. Thirteen. How 13. old are you? <laughs> Too old. Too old. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. 
I honestly, I actually think he's lying. <laughs> I don't think he's 31. I think he was 34, but I might be thinking of someone else, right? I think he took off some age, right? But uh, too old, right? Classic, man. It's a classic banger, man. Sorry, I think I yelled into the mic. But anyway, it reminds me of... Uh, I keep being reminded of guys of early guys. Um, what's his name? Oh, man. I keep forgetting his name. The one that has a bad back. Oh, man. Whatever. I'll remember later, right? But yeah, he's like, I'm old, right? He doesn't give us, you know, an answer. But, uh, you know, luckily, Lee Greer did, right? And I'll, I think he's lying, so... <laughs> 31... <laughs> I'm old. 31. 31. Yes, sir. And you thought it was okay for a 31-year-old man to come Dying. to a home no, where sir. a 13-year-old girl was alone because why is that why? why? I didn't. Then why did you do it? Stupidity. Stupidity. Stupid. Classic, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I was going to straight up say it, so I don't have to say it uh, anymore, but I probably will. This entire segment is a classic, man. Like, it's stupidity, right? It is... I think the the very center of what all the predators' excuses are, right? Like you know, it's oh, I I was being dumb or you know stupidity, right? I wasn't thinking straight, right? Um, it's all the same, you know. Lee Greer did it first, no, okay, he didn't, but uh, yeah, Lee Greer, man. Uh, so and you know, actually, he's gonna mention this, so I won't say it. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I was honest to God. If you started crying, that would be amazing. Pure stupidity. Pure stupidity. You sent her that picture. Yes. That, and I told her there were 30 pictures, and she wanted to see them, so I showed them. Christ. Christ, man. You're telling... Oh, man. I can't believe this. You're telling me that a minor asked you to send, you know, over inappropriate pictures, right? Explicit images, right? <laughs> and you did it anyway. Like, ah, uh, it reminds me... I'm back. <laughs> it reminds me of... Uh, uh, I, I'm forgetting people that I'm being reminded of. Um, Donald Morrison, right? Uh, he His excuse was basically, oh, if she wanted to, right? If, if she wanted uh, to do that, right, he would do it, right? But only if she wanted. You know, it's the, the all the exact same scheme of basically, oh, she asked for it, right? Blaming the victim, basically. That's what's being done right now, right? Is uh, he's like, oh, I told her what was wrong, and you know, it you shouldn't see these images. It's not legal. But since she asked for them and she kept maybe asking for them, he sent them anyway. But that doesn't protect you under the law, right? You still sent explicit images to a, you know. So because a thirteen-year-old girl says it's okay, it's okay for you to do no, it. No, it's not, sir. No, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. How God his wife? But no. To, to add on to his point, right, if a minor tells you to do something, you're going to do it, right? You let a 13-year-old bully you into sending something, like, uh, man, it just never should be the case, right? Uh, of course, but it should never be the case where you're basically, how can I say, it's like, I'm coerced, cohort, co coerced, cohort, co, <laughs> that word, into... Committing a crime, right? That it doesn't matter if you were co co if you were brought into doing the crime, right? You're still liable, right? And in this case, no one really forced him to do anything, right? He did it himself. He kept chatting, right? The moment that you're chatting with someone who's underage like this, you should never, right? Keep going, right? Especially if you're this old, right? Thirty-one, right? I think he's thirty-seven, but it doesn't matter. You're that old. They see this conversation starts somehow, right? They they don't just automatically go into sending pictures, right? But you shouldn't uh, do that, right? <laughs> it sounds very basic, but I'm trying to reach a point here that you know I don't know how at that point of like oh send the images anyway you don't just block them right and just leave that conversation there like I don't get it. He's married. He's he's not deprived of anything, right? And I don't know if he has kids, but I think he does, but. Even if he doesn't, it, it doesn't matter, right? It, still, you're not deprived of companionship, right? No, sir. No, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. How's this going to go over at home? <laughs> not good. Not good. <laughs> I had really, really, really like for it not to go home. Really, I'm, sir. Jesus. What do you think should happen to you, Liam? Honestly? Therapy to get some I'd like to be able to just go back to work. And just go back to work. Just walk, get up and <laughs> I'm, grab I'm not, I'm and not walk saying out that, I'm not saying what I what I done. <laughs> oh my God, man! This is the best part, I think. You know, out of all the the bangers, right? That that we've passed, but 
this part when it comes to you know oh what what do you think should happen to someone who does this right the, the always the the you know the um, i mean it's used in interrogations right police inter- interrogations right asking the person who is suspected of doing it what they think the people who are guilty of the crime should you know be punished for right you know most of the time let's say it's like a murder case right um the suspect is asked like oh well, what do you think should happen to someone who does this right and if they usually go with something along the lines of like you know a less harsher punishment like a a maybe this should happen to them they're usually talking about themselves right so in this case lee greer um says he's just leave and just go on with his life but i'm sure if it was his kid underneath the, this this investigation right that potentially could have happened to them right he would want these people to not exist anymore if you catch my drift you get me so back to work. get up and honestly i'd like to be able to just go back to work and just go back to work just walk, get up the audacity and I'm, not, I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying what i what i've done is right because i know it's wrong and I, I did hear it, right? He's like, oh, so you should just, you know, basically walk out of here, grab a cookie, and go. Man, this, this whole, the co- I'm telling you, the cookies are infamous, right? They are so good. I mean, I've never had them, but I wish I did. I really wish, because I really want to know what the sweet taste of cookie, it took out your better taste like, right? They're so, you know, talked about that I wish I would have one, right? I'm admitting to you. I'm not saying, that, I'm not saying what, I, what I've done is right because I know it's wrong. Yes. I'm admitting to you that it is wrong. So we're all square, even Steven. And you no, just even walk Steven. Out. Even Steven, man. I haven't heard that term in a while, right? <laughs> even Steven. We should just be even Steven, right? Lee Greer. Dude, what a dumbass. What a, what a complete dumbass, really. Like, he really thought that he could just walk out of here, right? I, I give it to the, the people that are like... They either just straight up say they should just go to jail, right? But th- those are very rare occasions. But even to the people that are like, <laughs> I should just, you know, get off the internet and go to counseling. You know, but those people, at least I respect a little bit, right? They thought of a solution, I guess. But Lee Greer just wants to leave, you know? He just doesn't care about anything that happened here, what could have happened, right? These images he sent, everything, right? Um, He just doesn't care. He's just like, oh, well, you know, let's leave it in the past, right? Let's be even Steven, man. Oh, I'm telling you. Um. <laughs> So we're all square, even Steven. You should no, just get no, up and walk out no, of here. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. Well, there's a few things that you need to know. Well, it's look, I am surprised he's not like I don't know what to tell you, right? Like I could not think of a better, you know, a punishment than being just let out, right, scot free, right? Um, like there's an obvious answer to what should happen to these other people, right? Is go to jail or just you know, stop existing. Again, we're back here, right? But, yeah. As we told you... What to tell you? Honestly. What to tell you? Well, there's a few things that you need to know. No. As we told you before, he won't get off that easy. Everything that you've done since you pulled up here has been recorded on camera. Oh, my <laughs> God. She's the first person I ever considered meeting. There's some in the car. Just happen to be some in the glove box. No, I always have condoms anywhere I go. Because of diseases, man. Oh, I'm I'm a bit sad that there isn't, like, the, the in-betweens, right, of what he said. But I will try to better, like, remember what he did say, right? But I know he is asked, right, like, you know, what does he have in the car, right? Because it is a rental car. And as he says right now, right, he says that there's condoms in the car, which, again, is not his car. So why would there be some in there, right? There have to be new, right? He's... Um, he's here in Florida. I believe this is in Florida. He's in Florida because it is like a work, um, like not a vacation, but you get what I'm saying? Like a transfer, a, a work on business, right? There, he's on business here. So he has that and he says he has spare, of, uh, spare change of clothes, right? And Chris Hansen points out that like, you know, he could use that to stay over the night, right? Cause I believe he did say that, but then he's like, nope, I just have my, you know, clothes, uh, you know, that I wear, to sleep and he wears his underwear twice because they're not dirty or no his shorts because they're not dirty right but yeah those are the in-betweens that i remember right i don't know if he, if he said something else but that is what i remember ordered on camera unless he says it later she's but. the first person i ever considered meeting there's some in the car just happen to be some, some of the gloves in the car no i always have condoms anywhere i go a person would have to be an idiot not to and then he says uh, you know it's because they cut out a lot but he says because of diseases, right? Like, he's going to catch something, in, like, in the air, right? 
like really and and, and even that even that like i i forgot to mention this in the very first right because i did mention the whole like catch a one like catch a disease in the mouth right but why would he have con he's married like why does he need condoms dude like he, it's not like he's out here just having a blast right like you know being free and single right like you know I mean, I have to admit, Lee Greer is a, you know, complete, you know, Chad, right? He looks amazing. He looks handsome, amazing, right? Fit as, 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 as all can be, right? Very attractive, right? So I understand him having some if he was a single, right? But he's married, right? So why does he have them, right? It just makes no sense. It makes no sense, right? Unless he just, again, didn't care for his wife. But he cares to not let her know, right? But again, that's just him not wanting to be in trouble, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Because of diseases. As soon as the men leave our house, police work quickly and sometimes aggressively, taking the suspects oh, down to the ground. That's because. Wait, wait, who's that? Who's that? Wait, who's that? Work quickly. Yeah, okay, if you know who that is, put it in the comments. I need to watch him next because I'm having a blast with these um Flagler Beach. I think it's Fl Flagler Beach, right? I believe so, but I I'm not sure, you know. I I'm having a blast watching these, right? I've watched uh, David Schumacher, Donnie Morrison, right? Um, Donald Morrison, David, Ch right, those two recently, right, those are my recent videos, but, um, now I'm watching Lee Greer again, but I want to know who that is, because, yo, he got tackled hard as hell. And sometimes aggressively taking unless the suspects he's, down unless to he's, the ground. Okay, unless he's not an actual predator, right? Because there are some people in here that weren't actually displayed or shown on TV. That's because in Florida, it's relatively easy oh to, God, get there he is. to carry a concealed weapon. So these officers aren't taking any chances. Anybody get hurt no. in the takedowns? No, uh, 24 people and no. Nope. Uh, he's lying. He's such a fucking liar, dude. He, like, legit stares it to, it's a Chris has his eyes, right? First of all, banger screenshot, right? Like, I could make an album cover out of this, right? But, um, I'm so happy that they took his ass down. Like, they don't have the entire thing, but I mean, it doesn't matter, right? I'm here. Because <laughs> in Florida, in it's Florida. relatively... And then there's Michael Willis, right? The, you know, generic white male, man. He, I, I can't mistake his, his shape, right? His, his, you know, his built goodness, right? Easy to get He's a permit good. to carry a concealed weapon. So these officers aren't taking any chances. Anybody get hurt in the takedown? So much meat landing on the pavement, man. It's so good. And, uh, yeah, man, it's so good. No. I like how Chris... Okay, I'm, I'm pausing a lot, but there's a lot that's been happening, right? Um, Chris Hansen asks, right, like, oh, has anyone been hurt being tackled, right? Has, any, has anyone been, you know, seriously injured, right? Um, the detective, I mean, the sheriff, or whatever, the, whatever he is, right, looks at him, you know, pauses for a second, and then he says, N no. <laughs> like, man, this just means that someone definitely broke something, right? Like, look at this guy. You think he didn't want to, you know, his aim wasn't to break something in his body, right? Anybody get hurt no. in the takedowns? No, uh, 24 people and no one was injured. All the Cap, cap, massive cap, right? He, someone definitely got hurt in there. <laughs> like, there's no way you tackle 24 people, right? And no one gets hurt, right? Like, yeah, maybe they didn't pop a bone or lose a bone, right? Or get their sonic rings, rings you know, bumped out of them, right? But still. The officers are safe. Let me see your hand. Oh, Lord. As a oh, man Lord. is being arrested. <laughs> Shout out to all the belly meat, man. Oh, oh belly fat, right? It's all the Unmarked same. police vehicle moves into position. Jesus the suspect is put into a car a and car. taken to a transfer station. This is the married man, Lee Greer, who hoped his wife would never... Wait, is that say Florida? Florida. So, man, so good, right? He, You know, he's not from here. And he's on here. I don't. I actually don't know if he's from here or not, right? But at least I believe he's on business trip. That's what I'm going with. Um, he shows up here, and I believe he bought this shirt here, which is funny as hell if you think about it, right? Like he gets up in a he get <coughs> he gets caught up in a sting operation in Florida, right? And he has a Florida shirt, man. Never know that he showed up for a date with a girl who told him she was 13. How's this gonna go over at home? I had really, 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 like. Oh man, uh, I, I, I keep I pause him before he even finish it, but uh, like I have to mention this, right? Like, I wonder where his wife is, right? I wonder where Lee Greer is actually, um, because I am not aware of what actually happened to him, right? I might do a deep dive on him, right? Because I don't know if he actually has history or not, right? Like all that stuff, um, but regardless. Um, I wonder what really happened there because, you know, he gets put in jail maybe 
or he gets a suspended sentence, right? You get a lifetime registration under the, you know, sex offender registry in Florida, right? And, you know, how did that actually go over, you know, where he lives, right? At home, you know? We sometimes forget how these people actually have families, right? And not just, like, you know, wives or, or kids, right? But, like, they're, you know, they're family tree, right? You know, their cousins, their aunts, their, their parents, their grandparents, right? Like, all that stuff. Brothers and sisters, right? How do they take it, right? Because imagine if you found out that your brother became a sex offender, right? Like, that is definitely something that is pretty scary, right, to think about. Especially if you have kids, too. Because there are some situations where that happens, right? Or even just worse, right? Your husband is a sex offender, right? Like, that is a lot to bear where, you know, it's a change of life completely, right? They might not be able to find work. They're unemployed. They, they can't be around certain areas, right? Like, that is a lot, like. But it's well-deserved, right? It's their fault, like, no matter what. It, there's always people who try to defend, you know, these type of people. But it, it is all their fault, no matter what. Like, you fit to tell me that you let a 13-year-old coerce you into committing a crime. And not even just that, a sex crime. Like, really? Like, are you that desperate? Like, come on, man. I said not to go home. Oh, my God. Like, like do something, man. Watch TV. Watch... Uh, go on live streams, you know, chat with people online that are adults, right? Like, do something. Or, you could have watched my YouTube, right? YouTube Bad Lily, right? Oh, man, man, what a plug, man, for me, man. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now, man. That was a good-ass plug. You got to give it to me, right? <laughs> We're, like, at the end of the video. I'm over here plugging. Like, no one's watching, right? No one's watching. Okay, wait, let, let me, what is he saying? I don't know. Not to go home. Oh, he's from Arkansas. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to read these these subtitles backwards, right? I'm pretty skilled at this, right? Um, where you from, man's man? <laughs> where you from, man? I'm from Arkansas, Arkansas, or Arkansas, or Ar Arkansas. Or they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. Arkansas, right? Um, you on va 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 vacation or so so some so <laughs> some so so you're on vacation then? No, I'm down here working. His picture is taken. I'm not gonna let this word be me. <laughs> or some so some something or something. Oh my god, man, it's a long word, yo. Or something, right? I got it finally, man. <laughs> No, I'm down here working. No, I'm down here working, right? I've just heard of him. His picture is taken. His taken. photograph is taken. And when the police search his rental car, they start collecting evidence. This is supposed to bring condoms, booze, and lunch. <laughs> and lunch. Great, man. Lunch. So no, Yo, I'm, I'm telling you, whoever, whoever, like, I, I low-key think that is... <laughs> Um, Frag, he left the house for the very first time, right, to tell them that they should have brought food, right, and where is all that stuff, right? But, um, yeah. You know, it's surprising, right, that, uh, okay, I'm, I'm looking for something, and uh, it is very important, okay? Um, we brought the lunch frag, shout out to Frag, Did right? you bring and then, the food? Oh, Dale, man, Dale, man, so good, man. Dale, if you're out there, right, hit me up. I have an Instagram. Yo, hit me up, Dale. I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, great. Law enforcement oh, says so. it helps show mm. intent because a potential prep same conversation wait, wait, about okay. Okay. Actually, does I make chocolate chip cookies too, but I... um, yeah. You can just Brad, take a seat, I'll be right oh, uh, cookies for you? Okay, it seems like there is, um, no Ron Knight, you know, uh, feature in this video, right? But, um, anyway. <laughs> Let's just watch this Hello. one more time. Serves you safe. Let me see your hand. Oh, Lord. Classic, man. Anyway. On that note, we'll close this video out, right? Like, um, yeah, if, as you can see, it's Joey TCAP's channel, right? Um, love it when they immediately ask, uh, who are you? Like, they're not the asshole intruding in someone else's home. So someone's home trying to arm a child. Okay, we have to write a comment. I'm already here, so I have to, right? Uh, let's see. We should say, um, I'm glad that... Why is that? Why is the GCAP? It doesn't matter. I'm glad that Lee... Lee... Lee, the man, wait, I should, man, this video is too long, the, 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 the man, Greer, I should, okay, that's how it's gonna stay, the man, the Lee, Greer, what, I'm glad that, that, I'm, there's two of that, what the hell, 
Uh, we'll keep it. I'm good. I'm good. <coughs> Yo, I'm actually having a struggle. I'm glad that that Lee the Man Greer finally got what he des served. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I like, you might think that I'm like, you know, trying to dodge something that's in my way, like an obstacle, right, like I'm like my filming mic or something, but literally, it's not even, there's nothing in front of me, there's literally nothing in front of me, like, I legit have two hands on the, the I have a laptop, I have two hands, on, uh, we'll put that one, uh, you know what, I want to put that one too. Oh man, that is so good. Anyway, um, if you want to go look look at that, it's there, right? But um, I am happy to watch this guy again, right? I had a blast. I actually it needed it too. I was kind of a, a little bit down, but not too down. I was kind of a bit tired, but I feel better now. <laughs> anyway, um, check that out. I have a second channel, by the way. I recently uploaded, which is actually today, right? Today is when the video came out, but um, I have it. It's Looney Looney Tunes. And it's on my channel in the channels page, right? And I upload D and D and all that stuff. It's it's pretty funny. Go check that out. But anyway, um, we'll catch you some other time. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll catch you some other time. Jesus Christ.